Hello there, I'm Giant Grove with more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we went through about 30 and 31, I believe, with which four trainers. I'm gonna get a Pokemon gear, Poke gear to double check. Um, so yeah, we went through about, um, oh my god, I got the high tech, dang it. Okay, about 30 and 31, I made it to Violet City, and we brought a bunch of trainers, um, a, a couple, um, bug catchers, a couple youngsters, and then we made it to Violet City, now we're west of, um, <coughs> Now we're west of, um, we went west of, uh, Violet City, and this is Route 36, and I realized that, um, I was looked it up, and Growlithe cannot be found in Crystal, uh, at night, uh, at all, like, uh, there's 0%, it's 0% chance you'll find a Growlithe in Crystal at night, and now I'm, I'm, uh, it's 10, it's about 10, 11 a.m., I, I'm recording this at, uh, 8.17 at night in real time, but, um, I set my clock back to around 10 o'clock a.m., so yeah, there you go. And it's a 10% chance of finding in the morning and 10% chance of finding it during the day. But in Heart Gold Soul Silver, I believe it's 10% during the day, 15% during- No, sorry, it's 10% during the morning in Heart Gold Soul Silver. It's 15% during the day and that's 10% at night for Heart Gold Soul Silver. So yeah, I'm using Trigger Camera's uh, Let's Play as a guide uh, reference, I guess you say, guide reference. Uh, for stuff like that, like I wasn't sure because I was wondering if I didn't run into any growls at night. Yeah, I didn't run into any growls at night before I'm playing Crystal, so I was like, huh, maybe that it doesn't appear at night, and I was right. Okay, so I've run into back-to-back -back Pidgeys, so not one. I want a Growlithe, man, it's a fire type, come on. Three Pidgeys in a row, and I haven't- well, it's only 10%, so it's like 1 in 10 chance out of every ch 10 chances I'll find one, I guess. There's another Pidgey, gosh darn it. <laughs> yeah. All I've, all I've been running to is Pidgey so far, and also that the Growlithe knows Roar at the low level, at its low level of like 5 or 6 I think, so that's gonna be a problem. Or it could be a problem right here. Okay, cool, we found a Growlithe, it only took like 6 tries I guess, 6 wild encounters. But yeah, this Growlithe's level 5, it's male, it knows, probably, probably knows Roar, so I'm gonna try to weaken this quickly, and then throw a Pokeball at it, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Excuse me, bite, okay. I'm fine with that. Oliver should be fine with that, you know. I don't, Oliver should take being bitten over getting roared at. Um, I could try another tackle. I guess I'm going to. But, uh, yep, it fainted it. Darn it. Ah, oh, man. Okay, now I know not to go for three tackles, honestly. I have to find another one. Shoot, I was like, hoping that we can down to the red, but obviously it didn't work out. Yeah, it sucks. Oh well. Okay, about maybe 10 encounters later, wild encounters later, we find another Growlithe. This one's female on level 5. That's pretty cool. So two tackles should do the trick. So, um, yeah. Let's go for another tackle. Poop, and the red's awesome. No, we can use Roar! Oh, shoot, I was afraid of that. Oh, man. Ah, oh, I hate that. Ah. Oh. I sorry, I sped there, I sped up there by accident. But yeah, I'm gonna cut back to where I find one again. Okay, this one's uh, level five and male, just like the first one. So hopefully we can get two tackles in before, uh, you know, it does its thing. Oh, come on! I, th this is what's gonna make it so hard to catch is that it has roar. Okay, yeah, okay, level five and female. Okay, just like the second one, I guess you could say. <laughs> Let's go for the tackle. Okay, good. It failed. I just want to catch a Growlithe. I mean, is that too much to ask for? Okay, good, but it failed. Good. It failed twice in a row. Good. The, um, I'm getting lucky for some reason, so that's awesome. I'll take it. Let's try to catch this Growlithe, though. We have six Pokeballs. We just used one, so now we have five after this. One, two, three. We caught it. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, Growlithe today was added to the Pokedex. Okay, cool. It was newly added to the Pokedex. Cool. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon, it's uh, it's 2 feet, 4 inches tall, weighs 42 pounds, it controls a big territory. If it detects an unknown smell, it roars loudly to force out the intruder. That's a cool Pokedex entry. Give it to Growlithe. Yeah, I'm just gonna name this Growlithe Blaze. So yeah. Wait, yeah, B-L-A-Z, yeah, Blaze. Okay. Cool. So let's look at Blaze, let's look at Blaze, um, moveset. 
So yeah. Switch with Megan. And let's switch with uh, Oliver. But he's okay, yeah. That uh, needs uh, 114 more experience points to level 12 of 6. It has 156, uh, 156 experience points under its belt. It's a pure feral type. So it's cool. It has 21 HP. It has Bite and Roar. And its attack is 12. Its defense is 10. Its special attack is 13. Its special defense is 11. Its speed is 11 as well. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal real quick. Um, so I'll meet you guys back outside the Pokemon Center. Okay, so we're gonna head to Desperate Tower now. I think, uh, okay, so Blaze is level 5, Oliver is level 8, and Megan's level 9. Okay, cool. So yeah, if you started with either Cyndaquil or Carter Growth like me, and you have at least Ember, but, you know, my Blaze doesn't know Ember yet, um, it's actually really good for the Sprout Tower, because all the Sages have really is, um, Bell Sprouts and then Hoot Hoots, so yeah, you're in good shape then. But if you don't, just uh, have like a flying type, I guess. You know, that's also a good option for the bell sprouts. And then uh, you can just deal with the hoots as they go along, I guess. So yeah. However, you have, however hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. That's good to know. Here is Sage Nico, okay. He has a bell sprout. I think it's level 3, though. Could be wrong. Yeah, it's level 3. Okay, cool. So let's go for the bite, I guess. Yeah, okay, so it does about one third. Awesome. It flinched. Awesome. I'll take it. Way to go, boys. Nice, okay. Wow, already about one half of ex uh, It's already halfway to level six, basically. Wow. Okay, so another bell spot. Awesome. It's another, it's another bell spot, level three. This one's male. I believe the first one's male, too. So that's awesome. It does about half. Use Vine Whip, okay, so it only does one hit point on Blaze because it resists it because Blaze is a fire type Pokemon. So, yeah, awesome. And then the bite takes it out, awesome. Almost level 6, awesome. Another Bell Sprout, a third Bell Sprout. This one's probably also level 3 and a uh, male. So, yeah. Let's see, yeah, it's level 3 and male, is alright, awesome. Just find up again on or it's gonna use final up on boys. Ooh, critical it does two HP, but that's okay. Boys goes for another bite. Let's see if this will faint it. It does, awesome. Nice. So boys is in all of six, awesome. Sage Nico was defeated. Awesome. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the six pocket dollars though. Okay, so let's move on to the next four. Here's an item. It is a Paralysis heal, so that's good. To, that's good that we picked it up. We can always use another Paralysis heal. So yeah, and then another Sage uh, should come up soon. This one to be exact. So yeah, we stand guard in this tower. Here we ex express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. That is true. That's good. That's a good, you know, motto to live by. You know, I guess you'd say. Um, here's Sage Chow. He has a Buzzsprout. Okay. Yeah, his Buzzsprout's level three in male. Okay. Let's go for another bite on this thing, or another bite, because we've only been biting these bus sprouts really. That's all that Blaze has been doing. Okay, yeah, bite, nice. Okay, so another bus sprout. Okay, nice. Let's go for another bite. Is for Bind Whip again. I think it only did 1 HP though, so that's good. I wasn't really paying attention, but yeah, I zoomed out there for a second. But yeah, almost level 7, awesome. Oh yeah, another Bell Sprout. We've just been buying these Bell Sprouts. I've been telling Blaze to bite these Bell Sprouts, and that's all. All these Bell Sprouts so far have been level 3 and male. <laughs> uh, but this is some good experience though, so I'm not gonna complain. Look at that, don't only did 1 hit point on Blaze, so that's good. One more bite should do it. It does awesome. We well, in the level seven. Awesome. So each child was defeated. Awesome. So thank you. Thanks for the nice six pocket dollars. Get the X accuracy. Nice. Which I'll probably end up selling, but still, it's nice that we picked it up. Yeah, here's another sage. I think you can avoid this one if you just want the bottom path. 
But yeah, that's okay. Sway like leaves in the wind. Like bell spots do kind of if they're in the wind, the leaves sway, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Here's Sage Edmund. Jim Edmonds of the St. Louis Cardinals. He was a former Cardinal, actually. But he's still um, is part of like Fox Sports Midwest and all that, so that's pretty cool. Here's another bell spot level 3 in male. No surprise there. Did 1 HP on Blaze, okay. Just another bite on this bell sprout. And he only has one of these too, so this will be a quick battle. Oh no, I thought he only had one of them. Wow. Yes, two of them. I wasn't paying attention. I thought he just had one. But he has like three of them, apparently. Okay, let's go for another bite. I wonder if. Bo yeah, I think Blaze might be running out of bite for, his, for her power points, you know? There we go, nice. Here's another bell sprout, the final bell sprout that he has. And it's also a level, or it is, it's level 3 in male, of course. Oh man, this sage need to have a little bit more variety, but I don't, I'm not gonna complain again. I kinda did complain, sorry. Um, but, cause like, Blaze is getting some great experience here, so. That's good to know. Okay, so yeah, there we go, nice. Blaze is now level 8, awesome. Sage, def we defeated Sage Edmund. Yeah. Oh, I'm weak. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the nice six poker dollars, though. Here's a potion, I believe. Yeah, that was right. Awesome. So here's another sage. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. That's good to know. Sage Jin. Okay, yeah. Sent up boss bro. Nice. She's, okay, we have, we have, Blaze has six more, uh, bites after this, nice. There we go, awesome. Sage Shin was defeated, awesome, my training is incomplete. Thanks for the 192 pocket dollars, man, sorry for your, well, th sorry for you taking the L in the battle. I'm sorry. I, I just had to win. If I lose, I'm gonna have to go back to the previous Pokemon I was just at, and I have to pay you money for winning, for you winning, and s and I don't advance the game that way. You know, I'm sorry, man. The Elder is HM lights, even pitch black and darkness. Uh, are you talking about HM Flash? The HM for Flash? Okay, this yeah, he's probably talking about that. Sage Sage Neil. He has one Pokemon. It's a Bellsprout. I think this one's level six though, if I had to guess. Uh, this one's, yeah, level 6 in male hours, right? Awesome. Let's take on this, uh, bell spread I have. Blaze has four more bites after this. Uh, does about half, okay. Or a little bit over half, and a flinch, made the bell spread flinch, awesome. There we go, nice. Sage Neil was defeated, awesome. And it, it is my head that is bright. Thanks, man. Well, I guess because you kind of, well, you'd have a shiny head, honestly. <laughs> Thanks for 192 pocket always. Here's another sage, I believe this one has a hoot hoot though. So the sage probably has a bell spray and a hoot hoot. Let me just see how you, much you trust your Pokemon. Okay, let's battle. Sage Troy wants to battle, okay. Sent out bell sprout, nice. Let's go for the bite then. This bell sprout's level 7 male, awesome. He's vine wipe, okay. Okay, it's not very effective on boys though. <laughs> there we go. One more, one more uh, bite should do it. Yeah, okay, yeah, one more bite left, boys. Jeez, okay. Took out the bus bar, nice. Does boys learn Ember at level 9 or 10 though? Because that'd be nice to learn at level 9. Oh, it does learn, boy, uh, oh, it does learn Ember at level 9. Just as soon as I ran out of PP for my attacking moves, uh, boys learns, uh, Blaze learns uh, embers, so that's awesome. Let's actually like stay in then. Yeah, who toot? Okay, uh, ember. Nice, this is great timing. Awesome, it's about one third. There we go. This who is level 7 in male, so that's pretty cool. We're critical, nice, I'll take it. 
Sage Troy was defeated. Awesome. You, yes, you trust your, you trust is real. Thanks, man. Thanks for 224 Poké Dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to, um, Oliver, I guess. Alright, well, shocked for a second. Wait, 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 wait. You are indeed as skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. He's all shocked. Oh, look, it's Smat. Hmm, hmm. He calls it, he claims to be the elder, but he's weak. I stand to reason. It never, I never lose to a fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that I can win. I really couldn't care, I really could care less about weak Pokemon. That's not very nice to say. So Matt used an escape rope, and then he escapes apparently. Okay, cool. Here's an escape rope right here. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna save that escape rope actually. I'm not gonna use it right after this battle because I wanna actually save it. Ah, oh, shoot, wild encounter. I forgot that you could run into a lot of Pokemon in the Sprout Tower. I think the only two Pokemon uh, are Ghastly and Rata. I think during the night there's Ghastly and during the day there's Rata. Or maybe a mixture of both depending on when you play. Like what time of the day it is. What's well, day, night, morning. Morning, day, night I should say. Let's talk to the Elder. Be good to you. Um, so, oh, so, so good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is the place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future here together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. I think I read the last part, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, here is Sage um, Lee or Lai. I guess uh, this is his name. Okay, starts off with this bell sprout. It's um level seven male. Okay, cool. Let's go for the um well Oliver still doesn't have pack darn it. Okay, we're gonna have to use tackle then. Yeah. Gives growth to raise um to help its have its bell sprout raise a uh, special attack. So it went up by two stages. So we have to knock this thing out quick if we can. Ooh, critical it nice. Fine whip, okay. Um there's about 3 HP, okay, not very effective though on Oliver because Oliver's half, half um, flying type, so that's good. One, one more tackle should do it, but uh, you never know. This rust spot still could hang on. The tackle hits, awesome, and it takes it out, awesome. Nice. So Oliver's level 9 now, awesome. I think he's level 10 and Oliver will learn peck though. Okay, hoot hoot, yeah. Let's uh, stay in, I guess. So who does level 10? Jeez, look, that's good for the tackle. Let's just force that on us, okay. Let's get for the tackle, I guess. Yeah, okay, this might take a while. That's a tackle war, basically, right now. Okay, yeah, the suit is like a level higher than my Oliver, which is a hoot hoot. So, uh, ooh, quite nice. But, so we have to kind of get lucky here, okay. Growl's gonna, um, lower Oliver's attack, though, so that kind of stinks. For their tackle. Let's see what this does. This is about seven. Uh, it does eight HP. Wow. Okay. So uh, let's try to use a healing item here. Here we go. Nice. It's just a uh, little with nineteen HP. Right. Okay. Cool. So we're still in good shape here. Let's get another tackle. Oh my gosh! This thing's a powerhouse right now against my Oliver. As long as I can get one more tackle off of it. Tackle hits, okay. Okay, yeah. So Oliver did, did prevail, and awesome for sure. Now, guys, kind of almost spoke too soon, but yeah, did Oliver did take out the hoo Awesome. Okay, let's go to the bus bus bro. Let's go to Blaze actually then. Yeah. Let's go for the Ember. See, this bus is level 7 in male, just like the first bus party he had. And then Bray takes out one hit. Awesome. Cool. Lee, Sage Lee was defeated. Awesome. Nice. Ah, excellent. We got um, 320 Pokemon dollars for winning. Awesome. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. We get HM05, which is Flash. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we put in the, we put in the team pocket, okay, Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it out of battle, you need the gym, 
you need the badge from Violet's Gym. Okay, so as you can see right here, my Pokemon have taken quite a beating. So I'm gonna not use my escape rope and just um walk out by backtracking or get out by backtracking out of the spell tower. So I'm just guys back in front of the um actually in front of the piece of Pokemon Center in Violet City because um, my Pokemon should be full healed and all that. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, um, on my way back, I, I just defeated a, 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 a Rattata that's level 6 and Megan Gray level 10. So now I'll see you guys back in front of the Violet City Pokemon Center. Okay, so here we're back in front of the Violet City Pokemon Center. Um, all my Pokemon, or uh, all my Pokemon were level 9, but then Megan Gray level 10. So off screen, I'm gonna train all my Pokemon up to level, let's say, uh, 13. Yeah, that sounds a bit good. About the right level, I guess. Um, and then we're gonna take on the first Pokemon Gym. So after that, we're going to take on, uh, go south of Violet City and handle those routes, uh, south there of, uh, Violet City. And, uh, hopefully go from there. So yeah, so next part I'll start right in front of the Pokemon Gym, the Violet City Pokemon Gym. So yeah, as I said before, all my Pokemon will be level 13 the next time you see them. So yeah, Megan will go, will have to, will be uh, three levels higher, Blaze and Oliver will be both level four level high, four levels higher so that's awesome so yeah so this has been Janko again i would like to, would like to thank you again goodbye and i'll see you guys next time pokemon crystal walkthrough guide <laughs>